It was right here, at this very place, that the first Suva village was located. Known as Destin Garden today, it was the home of the very people who would later be influential in the setting up of the Fiji Mission Head Office in its current location. In 1882, the people of Suva village relocated to the present-day Suvavo village in Lamy to make way for the new capital. It was also around this time that a number of Adventist missionaries such as John Aite, John Cole, John Fulton and Calvin Parker were called to set up the Adventist movement or known back then as Nalotu Safsava. This was a term used by locals to describe this new Christian church as its followers didn't drink tea or coffee, didn't smoke or drink liquor, or didn't eat unclean meats or unclean fish. Hence, Nalotu Safsava or the Clean Church. It is our privilege this Sabbath to take you on a journey back in time to enable us to appreciate our history as it gives meaning to the present day and hope for the future. flame that has 
has been burning throughout the years within our hearts from generation to generation let it remain a full is light of truth to all men we'll all be ready till the end shine on shine this message burn within Move on, move on Hand in hand as Jesus leads May the spirit of the pioneers Challenge us to carry on Share this message to our feet Welcome to our church. There. 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 For 13 weeks, our churches have been closed. And now that they have reopened, we went around to talk to some people. So who did we talk to? We talked to church members, young and old, about their Sabbath experience. Let's go. So what did you and your family do on Sabbath during the lockdown? During the lockdowns we actually watched uh, Hope at Home, which is uh, very interesting to us. Okay, so uh, during the lockdown uh, we usually have our own family divine service. After our family divine service we always uh, watch a couple of gospel movies and uh, I always have my own good sleep. Oh, we stayed home and watched uh, Hope at Home. Open, open. Um, I wasn't quite happy because uh, I really missed church, you know, meeting my brothers and sisters in Christ. We did nothing at all but just sat at home. We didn't go anywhere. We used to go in, going to church on Sabbath. But throughout the day, the coronavirus days, we did nothing but just stayed home. It's uh, unusual to us, but there's nothing else we could do. How does it feel to be back in church? To be back in church is really a blessing and I'm so happy to be here. I feel blessed and I feel like I need to come to church again. It feels really good to be back in church since there's so much time staying at home. Sure. <laughs> Today is my first day in church. Last week, it should be the first day in church, but I did not go to church. I just want to see that the front of the video and then uh, get to look at uh, those who are taking part. I really like it that way. Yeah. But because we have to go back to church, but we have to obey the rules too, eh? It's part of the rule yeah. to go back to church. <laughs> and uh, I'm happy to be here in church, meeting uh, friends and uh, fellowship with them, talk to them and see how do they feel. That's why I'm here, just to come and witness the, the baptism that has been done already. Yeah. I was happy. I was happy to go to church after a long time and uh, to have fellowship with my brothers and sisters. I feel I'm breathing again. I know I felt as if I was choked. Didn't like anything from when I'm used to going to church visiting the pathfinders now sitting all the all the time home i felt as if i was choked 
you know, I almost ran out of breath. But now that the, the church is open again, I feel relieved, very much relieved. Uh, feeling very happy to meet uh, the children again. So what are two things you miss about coming to church? I really miss the singing, the, the pathfinder. Yeah. I really miss that. Okay, the two things I miss about coming back to church, first of all, in my church at Super Central, I miss the choir and uh, socializing with my youth mates. Yeah. That's the two things I really miss. I miss um, mostly my friends as old people. You know, I'm old, but I have friends too that I'd like to meet and uh, say hello to them and see how they feel and how are they. But that's something that I miss during that time. Missing, missing uh, meeting every Sabbath, you know, missing that, we, uh, we're getting bored again, eh? the church, the children. I call them uh, the last two seven to come and meet at the, at the church, but none of them turn up, none of them. I felt that the children are losing interest in pathfinder. You know, and now that we, uh, the meeting is now open again, I talked to the, to the children last week, last Sabbath. Yeah, I spoke to them in church. Now that, uh, that the, the meeting is open, I want to see you again. You know, we should be active now. We, we missed a lot. We have missed a lot. And it is about time we started again. And the children seem to be, you know, very happy. Uh, and we are looking forward. They are looking forward to, to meeting each other this, this coming Sabbath. What will you do different to do better this time around? To do better this time around, the two things is, uh, first of all, is to come early to church. And the uh, second thing is to learn my Sabbath school. So I can uh, volunteer and sing my member voice at the end of the Sabbath school sessions. Eh? So, uh, time comes so that's the two things I can do. I was hoping to do just to be good, uh, do better with my spiritual life this time after the lockdown. To continue with uh, my giving myself to do the work for God. And uh, mostly, most of the time, you know, I encourage my children, mostly it's my own family. Mm -hmm. See them, push them back. Sure. You know, during the lockdown, mm -hmm. most of them are just staying home, eh? Yeah. They are used to that. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of fever, and they will be, I, I can call it, it's a disease of staying home. Sure. But now we have to put that one out and let them come back to church. church. Because, uh, uh, what the Bible says, one cannot uh, get hit alone by itself. It's fellowship, meeting people, getting uh, uh, ideas from other people will help us to be strong and then go on. Um, as we know, uh, we are staying in our uh, end times, so it is very important for us as Adventists, as a Christian, to be in church. You know? This is not a time for us to, to move away from God. This is a time to be with God. So I just um, uh, urge people, wherever you are listening and watching, I just uh, request you to be with God in all circumstances. Uh, Realising that we are very close at the end of time, that we are at that, at that time, at the moment, we should be getting ourselves used, you know, to getting ourselves ready to meet Jesus when He comes. That, that was my, my, my motto, you know. I was born a pathfinder and I'm to be act, active as a pathfinder, you know. Uh, but doing nothing and missing the pathfinders, I'm, I'm dying slowly. It's a... Now that we are back in church, it is our prayer that we will not take church for granted. And arise shine and give hope to the many out there.
Before John Fulton returned to America to take his family, as his wife Susie was sickly, he had arranged for the building of a small yacht to assist him in the mission work. Returning without his family, he was accompanied by his new missionary colleague, Calvin Parker, and his family. By then, the new yacht was ready, and John Fulton named it Vina, or the Lamp. The yacht would take him and Calvin, along with local missionaries, to Bau, Ovalau, and to the highlands through the Reo River. They were delighted to see the interest in the open-air meetings they were able to call together in every places they visited. The news of the Lotus Sabsaba was now beginning to sweep across the country, drawing a lot of interest and curiosity. One Sunday morning, they decided to sail across this very bay to Suvovo. They had been warned about the old chief Ratu Aparosa for his bad reputation, but they also heard that he had recently been converted to Christianity and had built a Wesleyan church for himself in the village. But to Fulton and Calvin's surprise, Ratu Aparosa greeted them warmly, and because it was Sunday, he invited them to preach in his church. John Fulton preached in the Fijian language with power on the second coming of Christ. And after the service, Ratu Aparosa invited them to stay in the village for two to three weeks and teach them every day. On their way home, they thought Ratu Aparosa was not that bad after all. They had ruled out all they had heard about the old chief, and it seemed God was leading them. Three weeks later, they started their evangelistic meeting. This was the beginning of a new relationship that would lead up Ratu Aparosa to accepting the faith and paving the way for the establishment of Fiji Mission. Mata da 
na ngitu asa ya rotu ni sila ndi watike rich sa ragan scrum sa tangin alam ni sa wochi na tai sa warati na kana virta ina po kana sa matina ya sa sa bonki Nepola ndo ndo mela ko sarisa ogan skala ndo ndo mela ko sarisa le valisu mena po le lesu mena pola sa taronde re gai reidiau reidira sar chikito mena pola ngai virta isa ro versa o yau gai tarana po no kutarana pola yau sa wan ditera sa tarana polo ko mesko au gai gigi bala kena lo manira rae na nungu sanga kena nungu kokota do buta mba na po au gai yau ko na linganggu ngasa ngai do au gai tamba ke tinana polo Merawatski na langa ngao bich. 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 Mangau nama kawasar, cincak dia awal so gol vira ada tempat air ramak kawasar ada nak kila na istingo, cincak dia gol sulukau lalu dulu na tim di beach, na cincak dia wajib so bulukan dua, awal lagu kini yang gitu yang kong, korau tamai kini no beach na gangga diri nero, korau tamai kini na gangga, mai yang garap besar nak kena songolie bui beach, allun day serangan kini nama ten tua beach na gonea, na cincak dia wajib so bulukan dua, awak kau benda nak ni lewa nama ten cimia. Merawat cikina nang angga, erong otaleng aki nana ada timu diwan gol, nana ada rakila, nana buku ni rara ni gitu ni raga bi, nana nonton bunua, ibu rubu otaleng. Aku ustaz nana timu beach, aku ustaz otaleng nana timu ni fijana, kita le rawat main nana world cup nana bowl, nana world cup, nana 2013. Aku ustaz otaleng nana timu ni mosi, aku ustaz nana timu ni suba. Ayah na itu tu ku membaleta na gitar kami. Aku tak tahu kenapa tempat ini bingkar kami. Dah ni bingkar dengan dunia taki. Aku tak besar na itu tu waktu rumah bis. Enna boleh bis lebih bis sup. Yang berkena itu tu ku membaleta na vika ulah kudur rumah. Enna ngon ini dah dah. Enna yang bagi saut si na bulau mac. Na bulau mac na yang bagi saut si mereka jadi kena nanam bulan nanam gulen bal. Mereka jadi kena nanam bulan. O cewa mai tuh dua dua bulan alamani buat balenggo. Sabuk aja tu biar untuk enam bulan ni tuh dua dua ni ngalili. Saya nunggu tak tahu nabi tu sek, nabi angkara nabi songko, sekarang nabi songko ulah aku kini. Mereka aja dua cikun lah cikin bulan aja ulah aku mulai setabuk kini nabi kade. Aku kesini setabuk aku kini nabi kade. Nunggu lagi semai balik, baka untuk kini nabi ni mutang, nabi rai dana hitamba. Aku rai dana bika cikun alamani buat balik, baka teriau. Na bimbi ni nunggu bana numa na mara mana macam tu sa sambil cakap, aku sangat itu dua dua bol. Sebab kata raya itu itu enam bulan rendre, itu enam bulan sengani bagai dia. Sangat itu sosyak, nunggu rakyat nara bagai dia mesti sengani bagai dia nunggu itu rata rau. Aku sama ni cuma nana nunggu lama ni buat balik, nunggu ini masuk itu nasi. Nunggu kerja buat nak keluar, nana suli dia itu nana bagai dia. Sengani salah dah, orang suli kini dia, nana rawat kini nana cukup bagai dia. Nana bulan macam mereka jadi kini nana mara mana macam tu. Enam bulan kami, waktu yang itu enam bulan bukan dah, untuk enam bulan bi mama, kerusa so itu enam bulan best friend, kalau saya ramai stay, kerusa tengah anggur nama the best stay ni sub, waktu yang mana kerusa vital noa, kerusa bi maru taki, kerusa suli nama saya di telefon, tuh cikok kau biar ni ngoleh saya lembas, ramai ni ngoleh saya lembas kerusa vital noa waktu yang, na maru mungo eh eh elut kau bitu. Nona itu mutung buat orang orang kata langai nolot kubit, kata langai orang orang kata nolot kubit. Sehingga nona asyik cuci nol full tone, mai telep. Orang orang nolot kubit. Sehingga iwas asyik cuci mai biok kau na itu tu kau membalai tanah nona turang kau cuci sukar itu. Aku sakit lagi kau, kau sehingga iwas asyik cuci mai biok isom na itu tu kau. En bimbi kau sehingga cuci ni sekila. Elah nona ini matangku, nunggu dorong orang nana nona itu tu. Sama ni suri cewa sarok kau, tu nol kau biok. Kalau bina sahaja, lakukan mandi dengan dona bani lutu. Di lutu kau itu mulai lutu. Sanggir cium, anggir sar cium Australia. Aku sanggir lak. Mesti ni nunggu dulu mandi bani lutu. Na bani lutu English cecik tama buah. Aku bapak bina kau beritahu na bani lutu tama buah tu tinggal miao. Na singa tambia. Na nak nak keru aku sanggir lak. Aku semua sahaja na super center. 
ao salário todo na subcentro o governo de Minas ganhou arrotou cinco mil na subcentro arrotou para Tarungiau se o lago para Tabaiani ao tu na nunca lago mais engano na nunca sabe quando bota sarang na nunca monitora o Jesus Cristo ao sabe na nunca durma mais na na loma de Baniloto sangue ramai quinta vez que eu ia sabe o lago de Beijing até o quinta vez ao sabe marota ao talita ganhou quinta vez que chegou mais na elo nicolou então quinta vez que ganhou nicolou então quinta vez que ganhou nicolou na elo nicolou Opa, mungkin nak tanya untuk tujuan itu sih, tujuan itu adalah nabi. Kita bagi usah ramai, nona itu tu, nida ubu nau, nona bagai masalah tak jauh mah. Opa, mungkin nak tanya, na tujuan ayah, na tujuan itu adalah, mungkin awal itu tujuan itu adalah, nona bagai masalah itu nukah. Na tujuan yang korin, nona tanya betul korin, nona korin itu korin dengan demi cikgu rara. Mesti dengan demi cikgu rara. Opa, mungkin nak tanya, bagai masalah tak okai nanti itu nak kaki dia, ia kan di nukah. Na na bunuh yang itu dunia ni mungkin dah ucuk. Opa, sama ni ding ding. Enam belas tahun lagi, rendah belas tahun lagi, nak ikut nama ramah sama ni. Undi undi kena, nu sanding kita kan, nunggu singa undau sulia kena, nunggu ngau lagi nak gitu. Nu sabang alat tak, nu sanggara bukan nang oni turang kau Yesus Kristus. Kau sanggai ngau lagi, nu sanggara bukan nang oni turang kau Yesus Kristus. Kau sabang dini dini tak kan, singa tamu. Kau undau ngara bukan lagi kena, nabi kau undau ngara bukan singa, nunggu bulang apa temat. Nu sanggai leri itu nang dini, singa tamu dini nang ani kalau sanggai bukan rok rok tak. Saya kau nak singkat ambau sah singkat ambut cikgu kini aku. Awak bini bini kata nak keluar ni dolar bat nama tanggung nurai dan angon disalah nurai dirawat kini nampol lah. So kau ya nak bi kali boh bi tu kau nenda nenda ini nanda wangalal tangan mai nabi kali itu don menda dos tabu tu nanda nampol. Nunggu bokat tulen bini kau ni kuwa nunggu cikgu bini kau ni singkat matak. So kau ya nak bokat tulen bini kau dua dua atau sah bokat tulen wakit. Nunggu cikgu bini kau ni kuwa nunggu bokat tulen wakit atau bokat bini kau nunggu bulan ni kuwa. Enam bulan lebih sih, ngani matang. Nikua, awak sah sih cikun dua-dua nalo mana ibu balik ko. En dua kerusi sah cikun batang ngani turang ko Yesus Kristus. Ko sah buki aw, sah tumbiri aw, sah bukan detik aw, sah sulebi aw, nampak dem. Enam bulan cikun boleh ko. Awak bini bina katakan nak lo. Enam bulan salai muri mai, bangat tang mai, nai tokani, merame ame, merani mai tukun lebi aw, nandi na, ni nona singa. Ko sah bukan tambu cikun nikua, saya kau nasi singa. Awak kilai kena, awak rongu kena, darahan gitu. Ko nalo ndau. Gitu boleh kena nasi singa waruai. Kau ambil kaya naik tu tu ku mata tak membalik tanah nunggu bul. Aku sabar bini bini nak tengah nak kelu. Enak mata tak lain dah indah. Enak kabit tak lain dah indah. Ni rawan ibu kan detak. Enak nunggu cikgu bini nak ni kuah. Enak nunggu bukan tu lewat tak bini nak serang anak nunggu bul. Biasa ngolai buat nak kelu. Biasa narawat kena nunggu bul bini nak. Enak bini singa ni mata. Kau bini bini nak tengah na sungguh sungguh lut. Enak nunggu tu nunggu sulit cikgu nunggu tu ngau nunggu tu lagi cikgu mai balik. Tu main dah bercium nabi sing sandi, tak cium nabi bola tambo, tak cium nabi bola tambo. Wah, bini nak tatu orang naik tal talah super central. Dan bini buka bagai lebu nak kena nabi lidi cium nabi bosan nikelo. Nak kena nabi lidi cium nabi bosan nikelo. Esok kaya ungget tanai longgu, nurai tanan di nasarangan nabi bosan nikelo. Kena sing nabi bukan tambun nikelo, nabi sing tambun di nikelo. Kau sabar rawat rawat tak cium nabi sing nikelo. So kau serangan nak kali pun tuan dua usah rawat tak kena nabi tumbuh lagi bagai al. Menanti ni nunggu tuan tuan dua nunggu ngalili. Awak sengaja ni sotabu tu kita nak bagai dengan usaha kita sotabu nak bagai dengan, nang awak nusa buli bola tambuk kita, nang awak nusa boleh cuci kita nang nunggu bola, kita nunggu laku cuci bani lot, awak sah rongat cuci kita itu tu kuni bola, awak sah buat tu lewat tak kita, sah kau nang bulang kau usaha nanti kau, mian dapat cuci main nang awak nenda, ni kau usaha sini cuci dua tu, tiro sah cuci bati kita nang awak nitu rangkut cuci sukar sokat tu kini kena pola, awak sah rawat nak kaki tengah, nang buku ikar sto kau sah buat kau kuat kita, awak sah kau kuat ni kuat, nang kau kuat ni kau, awak sah biar biar boleh ni kuat. Bikin mula nak kangkung daun gitu. Kemudian nak turang kena merah mana dibawa rongat cium mainku. Sengat talian indua. Nampu ni bawa dengan ikuah. Aku sabar kan dina dina takkan ikuah. Nampu ni turang aku cium karisto. Nampu singa tambun dina saya kuah. Nampu singa tambun ikalo. Nampu singa wad. Kila lea unjua. Nampu gitu boleh kena. Aku sabar ngalal tak serang. Enam nunggu nampu tali tak boleh. Ikuah. Aku sarokoba. Aku santokah. Balai tahu nak kunyak kena. Nampu tiga binak. Kena nunggu kelungat. Nampu nunggu bumbale. Kira nampu nunggu kau. Obat apa ni pun nak katakan nak keluar, enak kau betul betul dah dah. Nak sah buka lembu, nak nombor ni lolo, mungkin nak nombor ni bayi bukan rotak. Oh sah rawat kita nak bulan binak, nak cikgu binak, enak nombor ni lolo mendoan dua nak keluar. Obat apa ni pun nak katakan, nama ramu kau sah. Dua lapan biar orang ni salah, murai tak kita nak kandi na. Rudi alundi na nama ramu cikgu mau Australia, binak sah buka lembu, nombor ni bayi tokani, kita nombor ni bayi kani binak. Sah mai rawat sih nombula, enak kau naik dah dah, rawat sih ngah, enak kau kau, kita bos ni keluar. The three weeks evangelism of John Fulton and Kelvin Parker 
resulted in the first ever baptism held here at the Lamy River. The old chief, Ratu Aprosa, and his wife, Andi Clara, together with a small group of believers from Tamugwa, were baptized right here. They also formed the first official Seventh-day Adventist local church in Fiji. The following Sabbath after the baptism, John Fulton decided to hold the first communion service here, where the first local Seventh-day Adventist church was built. After explaining to them the significance of the practice and showing them how it was done, he invited the members to participate. To his and other surprise, the old chief Ratu Aparosa stood up, girded himself with a towel and requested that he wash the feet of his people. This was a rare sight as Ratu Aparosa was accustomed to being served by others. Ratu Aparosa approached an old fisherman named Metui, whose body still bore the marks of his cruelty when Ratu Aparosa used his body as a roller to launch his canoe. Trembling with fear, Metui refused to accept the great high chief's request to wash his feet as he was just a commoner. The old chief replied, Metui, please let me wash your feet, for there is no chief here today, only Jesus. Ratu Aparosa understood that being a leader meant he had to be a great servant to his people.
I'm standing at the monument of the first known missionaries to Fiji, William Cross and David Cargill. It was through these faithful missionaries like these that paved the way for the Adventist missionaries to begin the work in Fiji. Of such is John Fulton and his family. His courage to move to Fiji with his family is why we are here and who we are today. Is why we are here and who we are today. There are many other stories of such great men and women who had sacrificed their lives to take the gospel message over their shores. But very little is being told about missionaries from Fiji who are called to other countries. We know of Feni Tawondi, of course, who was called to PNG and died there awaiting the soon return of our Lord. In today's context, however, we have Fijians going to other countries to be Bible workers and those that remain to impact their own household, communities and village. Eliki Malayna Lamba and Saini Milanei Villa amongst the many who have taken up the challenge to arise, shine in places where God has called them to. A former member of the Smack family, we joined Eliki first, also a former frontline missionary member, and was called to New Zealand as a Bible worker to establish a Hindi-speaking church in Auckland. Kia ora from New Zealand, Bulasia. Namaste to you all, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I am Eliki Mbalena Lamba from the village of Matanandoi. Uh, Namuka district in the province of Madhuata. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge God's goodness and faithfulness that um, which enables us to be here on Sabbath day. I also would like to thank Smack family and Hope Channel Fiji for this opportunity and space which enables me to be part of your AY program this Sabbath. The uh, purpose for me to be here in New Zealand uh, uh, to, um, to do God's work, most importantly, and I praise God for His calling and purpose for my life and to be, uh, for, for, for me to be here in New Zealand for five and a half years now. So since 2015 to 2018, I was blessed to serve as a Bible worker, particularly to the Hindi speaking communities within the North New Zealand Seven-day Adventist Conference. Early in 2019, I was then called to associate pastor for three churches in the south of Auckland. So far, my experience has been great by God's grace uh, and serving alongside with my senior pastors and the church. It has been a blessing and an amazing learning experience for me, uh, most importantly in ministry. Um, however, I have been, uh, I have faced so many challenges to leave uh, home country and leave your home and your family back and to be in a foreign country that you have no one um, related or connected to you. Um, most importantly, you have um, no families, eh? a biological family. But then I praise God for uh, his word, uh, his words of encouragement and promises that he has informed me already in the scripture about the cost of discipleship. And um, that has pushed me uh, forward to do his work despite the challenges. Um, and one of the major challenges today in my ministry is to understand a, the geographical area of service. So <clears throat> um, in the community which I'm currently serving is a religious community. Uh, with different cultures and background. Uh, we have almost uh, five um, religious backgrounds in our community. We have Christians, Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism and Islamic, and others that believe in other gods. But then the challenge is when we ask the question, and I ask the question, how I can help our young people to uh, arise and to sign out the character of God that brings a holistic transformation in the community because in our community here in the south of Auckland, they already know their gods. They have the knowledge of their God. They have the knowledge of good and bad. But then um, one thing, one major challenge that I've noticed is that we are living in a very tough time and the Seventh-day Adventist young people uh, and the majority of our generations today um, are so informational rather than transformational, uh, which means that we as young people, we're doing great job by filling our minds with the knowledge of God, by Bible studying or listening to the sermons. They're all good things, 
we are struggling, struggling to do good enough to practically reflect the knowledge of God to bring forth a holistic transformation in the community. So that is a major challenge that I'm facing today uh, in my service um, in our community is to um, reflect and to shine out the character or the knowledge of God that we know that can bring a transformation in our community. So I, uh, despite the challenges, I praise God that um, He has been working powerfully by His Spirit through human instrument, uh, the church, the young people, children, um, to um, shine out God's knowledge and practically to practical um, to practically reflect His goodness and unfailing love to others. And um, these are some of the things that uh, strengthen my calling when, when we look back, the challenges that uh, so many that can distract our walk with God. One is to, for me, I've been away from my family for so many years now, been alone in ministry. And then we have the challenges how to approach a community that are religious, that they already have the knowledge of their gods, how we can apply or to reflect our knowledge, uh, the knowledge of our God, a true God, into the community. How we can sign out His true character. And then when we look back in the scripture, we have so many promises that encourages me. Uh, particularly the cost of discipleship for me personally, that uh, one of the things that really strengthened my calling here in New Zealand. Um, to keep on going on and uh, never give up despite the challenges and also the joy and the happiness in, in our hearts to see and witness uh, the fruit of your work at the end of the day that you have drawn much young people that they are willing and interested to do and to take part in the work of God's kingdom. Finally, I would like to challenge our young people uh, and our listeners at the book of Colossians 1.16, for in him all things were created things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. So friends, Jesus is one with the Father in nature, in the knowledge, in character, and in purpose. So the scripture says that we, as young people, we are created by God and for God. So in order for us young people to arise and sign out brighter the character of Jesus, we must connect to Jesus Christ. Because his purpose and calling for you is not temporary. In fact, it is eternal. And he's the only one that will sign and reflect through us his divine character. Uh, it's not by our might, it's not by our knowledge, it's all about God. So he is the one that will sign and reflect him through us so people in the community can be transformed for his glory. Till the day he will come and forever. Amen. God bless you all. Ratu Aparosa had a reputation of being a ruthless and reckless leader, and at times he could be cheeky and mischievous, but this wasn't always the case. In fact, he used to be a very popular government official. Once, he attended a business trip in Australia and even got his name and picture printed in the papers, but his love for money led him to a dark path and changed his fortunes. For this reason, the government always kept a close eye on him, this is the Ratu Aparosa that was familiar to most people. Nevertheless, a wave of change was coming and it was too big to not notice, especially for Mr. Bailey and Mr. Scott. Mr. Bailey owns a shoe shop in Suba and for years, Ratu Aparosa owed him 10 pounds. He was surprised when one day, the old chief entered his shop and paid his debt in full. He was not the religious kind, but what he saw that day left a lasting impression on him. In the same manner, Mr. Scott, a government official, was captivated by the transformation he observed. He told Pastor John Fulton, it was as if he was a new man. A change in behavior begins with a change in the heart. And when it comes to the matters of the heart, Jesus is our only hope.
is a living testimony of a woman of faith who, despite her circumstances, remained faithful to her calling and in the establishment of a church. We now join Samu Koro as he guides Saint Emily in sharing her story. I am a man of faith and 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 I am a man of na coronia sul do Mequim, se vê na coronia Angola Mequim. Naka, se eu também naka, na Angola se nem mil na vila, o manel é o ni sabe de boa na lavoura, o o da puto o baú de sarino sorri Halen, o som som galo tudo menos sorri Halen, branco é bem escuro na Waka, Nandi. Rio Talo Nota kan, nang unah dah pun rawa bi Talo Talo kini nak ini nomu nau, si nomu nana, mai nak koro, mai nak lau. Kalau wasi balak lekak? Naka, oh ya, nak kait Talo Nota kubia, oh si Kalilai, oh si ambaki dua, sa mati nanti nang, sa binti orang nanti nang. Naka kila ni atuk kubia, kira bi koi mati nuai. Kerja lebih sabar, bapa sabar sabar waktu, masih limau, gay binti waktu kau bawa, asis silo kan, anak asis silo waktu sa rosak tu kena na tubuh mati ni aku andot tubuh kat pernah manman soni, aman itu tubuh anak kena mati way, singin dua hari di kuai, sing dua hari kerja rosak, ayah orang gay dambit tu kau bawa, aku sekali lagi saya orang gay makin dua, sesuatu tak tengah binti nang, orang gay tangi tangi tu. Ungu tangi tangi sarang ayah aku orang kerong apa mana leni kor ni ayah orang tangi tu kena buat kana, gay ramirah yang ni sangat tahu ngalang ngalut tu kena leni cinang di dalam niway. Main apa nua? Oh susu bolol lama kini, oh bambau tu nih gay bang, baka yang ngatagi kemu di nak keluh. Oh bambau tu ana diwa sengah bulu kalima kini diwa ono. Ngole kini nai ngol ngol nilo tu nak kena sengai metar nak kor ni bulu nilo tu. Nai taka kini nai taka taka main nau surialen. Aku bambau tak, ni oyi kongol tali tipu kan aku dah. Ya, ni dah ada nusurialen. 
esang atu nalo tu main nau serial. Aku bukan bauta. Nikalau e pakai yang ataki ko, e nak kian atu tu pagi, ke nak kian na ayado mete makin nalo tu main nau serial. Rau ni otalo nota kembali ni nak kaya bu. Nak. Obrava samu kita walak buat serangan le teh pay ni nau serial. Ami bukan iya na na nata kata kan nilo tu nak lo. Emi tu aku tak kira nak korbul ni lo tu mai nama ram burlevo. Kita serangga anak eh anak yang baki ronondolu ketolu. Anak nama ram ronondolu cinta pak arnondol kawa. Kita alai cikuk ini nu serhalen. Kerana yud ni rais. Oya nak kian relawa. Aulai betai batu kira. Mena penuaya. O sama ni red serkira nunggu sin sersari. Kerana sama ni lebih kila ya nak korongo. Tuan mina kau nak turang ni korang guys yang ni tu kena nalo tu ni kau betul ni sepak roma. Era way selia kere, dua orang nama talo tu etali tak kena lama ni korang go. Ya, mana ada bending tak kena kalo ubi aw. Mebukan ni dua orang ni leh ni nalo tu nak kalo tu ya oh sudu mei kira nalo tu go. Oh mana lebak kau matu balik nusari halen. Sama ni ada sarah me musa nale lalo tu tinggal nusari halen. Lalu tu tiko salai ada nangon, nasi salai lalu tu talangan nangon beli ni balik. Mana susu nalu bikin raw, relevi mana lalu bikin raw. Kan ira raw, bawa ni nak tanam nak kalau, kan ira raw talang biaw. Ni ambak ira nong dol cinta tol, sambil binti kito na nong beli ni, ni tol ni ni matu balik, atau mik kito. Nong nongko, salai ambak i sawo ciri nong dol cinta walu. Ada na bila tak kemei nusur halen tak talau raya ni lalu tolilin tempat tak kain nanti bila tu tak kisah meni pakti sokin roto lecik kafe tu na ya lo wilikin dona lo biang kongan lew ni kuah kita salewe evan nana dona tata kena lebung anangone lelu tu nangone ni kuah Sa nak kita kita satu nanti tu kau ni lotu kita sama sulak kita sakit tu nak ibu kena masuk me nandur itu nanti tu balik lotu me ada betul mana orang ni kuah dua na dua nak kah yang dari ni tal nongo kau muni nak kang ni baru orang tu mai kau baca sarau buat nak keluar kau baca yang kata kau dua orang ni lelai lelai nak buat balik ni ni mana nak buka buka Aku bangun bau tatalangan ini, nara tatalangan ini bila kaya ngata kita kaki kita nak keluar, nana mumpul lagi nana demo. Nampak apa ni bina kebisai? Karena nana bulan main enam bulan rendre, siang ni kila ini satu nana kaki kena bentingi tak ini keluar. Karena corona usurialen, nelayan tema kita kena nana nana lutu nak keluar, nara ni apa? Nara nara itu kena nanti nana wira nara kanda main lagi. Apa ni bina kebisai? Bangun bau tadi nana bukai kemudian nana ni talno. Ini kaku ni soro, ni bakau kaua. Kita bakal sah, bakal yang ngeteki kau nak keluar. Kau bawa bawa tetelangan ni, nara ni bakal yang ngeteki kau. Kau itu orang mana lew? Kita bakal ayah lundi nak buat tu lah. I hope you have been motivated to be part of God's work in these last days. Yes, the world is in chaos due to the pandemic that has crippled economies, societies, and even families. But we must not lose hope. God is using this time for His beacons of light, which is you and I, to shine to others during this current crisis. Mother Teresa once said, I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters and create many ripples. Go therefore and create those ripples. Arise, shine. Welcome to my garden. My name is Tuvil. Tomatoes. I 
I plant lettuce. I plant pumpkin. I plant dalo. I plant belly. You can be like me, plant and eat from the garden. Come with me and sing with my friends. God picked up a sparrow that could no longer fly. He brushed off his wounds and that washed in slowly into the sky. If he's my full of creation on this side can depend, I am his child.
The first congregation of the Seventh-day Adventist Church is now established. John Fulton and Kevin Parker would visit them every Sabbath for fellowship in Super Bowl. After one of the many meetings, Rato Parasa and a group of village elders approached the two missionaries, offering to have the mission station built in their piece of land so that they can be with them. The idea was brushed aside by both Fulton and Parker as they were planning to build the mission somewhere far away from Suba. Ratu Aprosa jokingly said that he hoped that a great cyclone blows their houses to pieces, carries them and casts them down in Suba Bowl and put them together again. Soon after, Ratu Aprosa's dream came true, not for the cyclone but for the mission station. Fulton and Parker finally decided it was God's will to set up a mission station here then in Suba Bowl after seeing the true conversion not only for their old chief, but the entire village. Establishing itself in Subovo, the work of the church flourished, from venturing out into health work, setting up of educational institutions, printing press, and also the training of local missionaries for both Fiji and overseas missions. The church is where it is today because of the faithfulness, sacrifice, and commitment of these great men and women who accepted the call to arise, shine. It is our prayer that we will continue to faithfully be true to our calling, guard the truth, and sustain the work of the church until Jesus soon returns. When John Fulton and his wife received a letter from the General Conference in 1895, informing them of the appointment to be in missionaries to Fiji, they did not know what to expect. Families, friends, and even church members of the Fultons discouraged them, as Fiji was still primitive and well known for its history of cannibalism. They were told of how just 28 years ago, Thomas Baker, a Wesleyan missionary, was clubbed to death and eaten. But nothing was going to stop the Fultons. They had made up their minds to come to Fiji. They accepted the risk and sacrificed their lives. They chose to arise and shine and bring hope to the many Fijians that would later be influential in the spreading of the gospel across Fiji. Like the Fultons, we are called for such a time as this. When the world is in chaos and in deep darkness, God is calling on us. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has come upon you. Do not let the adversity of this world discourage you. And may the Holy Spirit inspire you to rise beyond what this world throws your way. Consider a kite. It does not rise with the wind, but it rises against it. And like the kite, rising up against the winds of adversity, so can we rise against the winds of our adversity. Sufferings and pain is a part of life. And not even one of the many champions of the faith in the Bible are free from it. In the book of Habakkuk chapter one, Verse 1 to 4, the prophet complained to God about the sufferings, the injustice, and the unfairness that is happening around him. In verse 5, God replied to Habakkuk and said, Look around at the nations, look and be amazed, for I am doing something wonderful in your own day, something you would not believe even if someone told you about it. Behind the conflicts of this life, and the sufferings that we are going through, God is at work. He is doing something wonderful at this very moment to prepare us for a greater experience of God, carrying us through our sufferings and overcoming it. And through our experience with Him, our stories can inspire and encourage those around us to arise and shine above their problems. I remember the words of one of Britain's greatest statesmen, Winston Churchill, when in the midst of World War II, the British people needed inspiration and motivation. It was in this time of conflict that young men and women rose up to give hope to their fellow citizens. These young people were called the few, and this is what Sir Winston Churchill said about them. Never in the history of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. We have a crisis at hand a pandemic that has caused a lot of suffering and pain, the world needs a few young men and women to make a difference and bring hope to the many. 
With the many stories and testimonies today, we hope that you have been inspired. And may you also have a story that needs to be shared and to give hope to those around you. I encourage you, share it. I leave with you Romans chapter 8, verse 19. It tells us, For the earnest expectation of the creation waits for the manifestation of the children of God. Yes, the whole of creation is waiting for you. Arise, shine.
Shine